capital budgeting six, internal rate of return, Excel, and manual calculation. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. We're on Facebook at St. Louis Test Prep. Here's our email and our phone number. I wanted to jump to Excel. This is a continuation of our discussion on capital budgeting. We have five videos before this one. And we're talking about Levi Strauss a manufacturer considering buying a sewing machine. The cost is $10,000. And by buying that sewing machine, they're going to be more efficient and be more profitable. And they're also going to get an increase in the amount of cash that they make because they're using a more efficient machine, $2,000 a year. And the machine has a useful life of six years. And the discount rate that we're going to use, the acceptable rate of return, you may get several types of uh, questions. It may be the discount rate. It may be the hurdle or minimum rate of return expectation. And in this case, we're going to say it's 5%. In past videos, we've done things on present value. And now we need to mention that internal rate of return, <coughs> IRR, is the calculation where the summation of all the present values of all those amounts, both the outflows and the inflows, adds up to zero. So what I've done here is proved it manually. Here's an outflow of $10,000 in year zero. And here are inflows of $2,000 from years one to six. Now. The quick and easy way to do this is if you use the internal rate of return function in Excel, IRR, and in this case I did IRR, and I simply added the outflow of 10,000 and the inflows of 2,000 for six years, and we got an internal rate of return of 5.5%. What I did as an example for a student what I did as an example for him was I went out and I got a present value table and I estimated what the present value would be, ballpark figures, what the present value would be for 5.5% as a rate. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to prove for the student the 5.5% internal rate of return rate that I got just using the IRR formula. So I went out here and I said to the student, this present value table gives us rates for 5% and for 6%. Well, let's just get an average of these rates and come up with a 5.5% annual rate. So for example, in year one, it's the figure in blue for 5% plus the figure in green for 6% divided by 2. So I get an estimate of what the present value would be for 5.5 percent. So that I did, since I didn't have that calculation exactly, I had an estimate. And so I did that for six years. And I took those and I put them over here in the table. The present value table, IRR and Excel, 5.5 percent. In year zero, every dollar is worth a dollar. And then these are the percentages that I filled in from the table that I showed you over here. And I'm a little bit off, but what I came up with is when I multiply across the cash flow with the present value amount, and I'm just going to click on a few of these so you see how that went, I end up with present values in this column. And when I sum up those inflows and outflows, I'm within $8 of coming out to a present value of zero, which again is our definition of internal rate of return. IRR, where the sum of the present values goes to zero. That's the end of part six of our presentation. Our essentials courses are hour long and longer sessions recorded in GoToMeeting primarily for financial, managerial, intermediate, and cost accounting, intended to be more comprehensive. Our YouTube channel, Ken Boyd STL, you can get a complete list of our videos that are on our website. 
that are on YouTube, excuse me. There's a complete list of the YouTube videos on the website. For live one-on-one -on -one tutoring and live chat sessions, stltest.net. Here's our website. Here's our email and our phone number. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.